Good afternoon, <clears throat> meteorologist Dean Davis and the weather pros and responding fire. We're taking a look at what's going to happen over the next 48 hours or so. We're going to see some snow after some rain. Not a whole lot, but just enough that you're going to have your troubles on the roads probably because of the cold temperatures in behind it. And those snow, snow plow drivers, they're going to be uh, also pushing and salting in certain areas. And I'll be definitely saying around here, we have the fire forecast. So we'll start with the F, which is the forecast. I'll show you what's going on here and I'll move it along and explain to you. So we get this low pressure coming in here out of the Midwest. It starts as rain. This will be right around roughly the 11 a.m., 10, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Starts as rain. Not very heavy, but it's rain. Right behind it, we get the cold front and we blow, we get this to blow over with some decent snow. So we forecast this rain to snow. The snow should start by 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon and by 10 at the latest. I'm probably going to say probably 7 or 8. Be better off as that moves on. Intens intensity. It's going to be light, but it could catch you off guard, especially if we head into the time frame where you're driving home. So the responders need to be careful, obviously, for slick spots on the roads when you're driving and or operating on any scenes. People just need to be very careful when driving. This will then move away, go through New Jersey, go through Massachusetts. Lots of these areas will get some snow. And then this little secondary band moves through, and we have no more snow. We'll see what happens by the end of the weekend, but that's what it's looking like right now. All right, readiness. I would say get ready now. Just be careful. Tomorrow, be ready for some slick roadways in the afternoon time. And it would exit, like I said, latest by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So I'm a little, I'll get here and do some future look at this uh what's going on beyond tomorrow and then come back and give you the snowfall accumulation map like i said we got that's that, that snow coming through and it's just, this is the brand new uh gfs coming in right now so i actually might be able to get some stuff then it shows maybe a little system clip system on a second that could be interesting uh i wasn't showing in it passed. We gotta watch that closely, and then we get some rain by the time we get to the fifth. But yeah, we gotta watch this little little number right here on Saturday and a Sunday. And that's what's latest on there. So let me see if I pull this one. I'm gonna get it before the first one. After a second, okay, right there. So no accumulations. Now, like I said, it's not gonna be extreme. By no means. We're going to probably be looking at anywhere from a coating, most areas, to maybe two inches. It shows about two inches in Roanoke, two inches in Bedford, you know, a little bit higher up in Benton Mountain, some of them areas. But yeah, so definitely could be looking at a two inch snowfall range. Especially now, this is the latest GFS run. If we go to the NAM, let's go back to the NAM here for, for a minute and see what they say. I like running both models because. They both will say sometimes a little something a little differently. That's why as forecasters, it's more difficult to, to forecast. And that's exactly why we have the issues we do sometimes when it comes to snowfall accumulation. Let me see. Total snowfall. Actually, this is not going to be where I need it. I need snowfall. Total snowfall. Right there. Wrong. I hit the wrong snowfall uh, run there. It won't give me as accurate as reading on that one. But we'll, we'll push this along because it's a name. This is more of a short-term model. It's more of a model that will spit out a higher range usually. And actually, this is probably going to spit out a little bit less than most places. This puts us right around an inch, which, like I said, anywhere in between an inch, I would say you're probably looking about an inch of snow in some areas. So anywhere from a coating to two inches is possible. With this next storm, uh, obviously there's still some discretion on the models. Um, based on the situation, if we get enough, keep enough moisture, it'll be two inches. We need to be careful. We have a winter weather advisory out in the area, and we'll talk to you again soon. Just remember, fire forecast. The forecast is for rain to change to light snow tomorrow. Accumulate a little bit, coating to two inches. Intensity, not that intense, but could cause issues on the road. Readiness, obviously, be prepared when you, if you get on the roads tomorrow afternoon, coming home from work, and exiting by tomorrow evening. So that's what we have, and then I said that we have that other system that 
It's just shown up on the new model for the GFS, something brand new for the second. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but I'm not putting too much uh, too much into that right now because it doesn't look as uh, something that just popped up and doesn't have a bunch of information behind it. So we'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Dean Davis, No Weather Pros, and Respondent Fire. Thanks for watching.